I'm not exactly normal. Tonight, its aim is to save lives. A new national organ transplant program should help get organs to those who need them faster. It was hot, now it's really hot. How people are beating the heat from Toronto all the way down to Washington, D.C. Plus, in Quebec, a young hypnotist got in over his head. Some of the schoolgirls he put under couldn't snap out of it, and now the school is apologizing. Global National at 5.30. You're watching Global, part of Shaw. Good afternoon. It is that time of year. Arsonists prefer mild weather. And today, police and fire officials believe an arsonist may have been at work last night in Kitsilano. Three small fires deliberately set in three different locations. There's advice for homeowners in that neighborhood. We'll have details on the early news. Plus, the level of the Fraser River is rising. Now, several homeowners have been told by authorities in Langley and Abbotsford they are now on evacuation alert. Join us next. Today on the Early News. A North Vancouver mother of four battling a rare form of cancer gets help seeking treatment south of the border. She disappeared three years ago today. Her family still wondering exactly what happened to Jody Henriksen. Live from Global British Columbia, the Early News with Jill Croft. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Debbie is off this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. An outpouring of support for a North Vancouver woman who is fighting an extremely rare form of cancer. Chelsea Staines is just 35 years old. Her life is full. Running a successful dance studio and mother to two sets of twins. But recently, Staines was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor. Rare when it's seen in children, even more so in adults. The tumor is located at the end of her brain stem at the top of her spine. She's currently undergoing radiation, but since even the BC Cancer Agency has never treated this kind of cancer before and very little is known about the disorder, Stain's family and friends may have to look across the border for treatment. If surgery is an option, it could be in the States. Is that what uh, they're telling you? Or? Well, depending, depending on if there is a, uh, a doctor that will yeah, go into such a risky area. Um, you know, yeah, what we'll try to research probably is if there's a neurosurgeon anywhere in the world that's gone to this area and been successful. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that much of a, a mystery, I guess. Mm -hmm. right? It is. It is. And if you'd like to help Chelsea Staines, we've provided information on our website, globaltvbc.com.